Hello, everyone. Welcome back to OMI 101. I am your host, Bibi. Before we begin, please scan this QR code to leave your details for us to pick three lucky winners to win this rose gold mark. Today, I'm going to talk about deflation. What is deflation? Deflation is generally a decline in prices for goods and services. During deflation, the purchaser's power rises over time. This means we can purchase more goods and services tomorrow with the same amount of money. While deflation sounds good to us, it may signal an impending recession and hard economic times. However, during deflation, there will be increased fears around job prospects, employment status and wage reduction, which would negatively impact consumer spending. Businesses may put on hold their expansion plans. As a result, a country will go into recessionary environment. A good example here will be Japan, who suffers deflation which leads Japan into loss of two decades. What actually causes a deflation? A decrease in the supply of money, leading to an increase in the value of money, thereby reducing prices. Declining confidence that caused by adverse economic events, such as a global pandemic, that may lead to a fall in overall demand. How can deflation be controlled? The government can boost money supply by buying back treasury securities, keep interest rates low to encourage borrowings, manage fiscal policies by cutting taxes to lead to more spending and higher prices. To summarize, deflation is a decrease in price of goods and services that should increase our purchasing power. However, in reality, it is otherwise whereby businesses hold on to their expansion plans. Therefore, discourage spending that lead to an economic downturn, leading to an escalating deflationary environment. Thankfully, there are always proactive measures taken by the government to avoid a prolonged deflation. Thank you for watching. See you soon.